All of our previous training videos for QFD have been focused on the first phase of QFD, which is actually the most complex phase. Although some teams only use the first phase of QFD, most people are aware that there are actually as many as four phases of QFD. In the first phase, you start out with your customer requirements in the rows, and then you look at the relationships between those customer requirements and the performance measures in the columns. And then the top of the house you know, defines that there might be some trade-offs between you know, one performance measure might complement and supplement another performance measure or might detract from another performance measure. And then in the competitive analysis section, notice that the only place that you do competitive analysis is in phase one. In phase two, those same performance measures that were the columns in phase one become the rows in phase two. And now you look at the relationships between those performance measures and the more detailed product or service specifications. And again, there might be trade-offs there in the top of the house that uh, one product spec might either supplement or detract from another, but there is no competitive analysis this time. So how does the Systems to Win QFD template help you with the four phases of QFD? Well, the first thing to notice is that the column header is called Performance Measures, and when we click on the pop-up Help in Phase 1 for the column headers, it gives us the correct pop-up Help for Performance Measures. And pay attention to what those column header title labels are in Phase 1, because when we click this button, the four-phase QFD wizard, and choose Phase 2, it opens up a new worksheet for QFD Phase 2. And it gives its best guess at what it thinks. You probably want to call that new second worksheet, but if you want to call it something else, it's just Excel. Go ahead and relabel it to what you want to call it. Then the first thing you're going to want to do is change the number of rows and columns to have the number of rows and columns that you want. And now notice that what had been the column header labels in Phase 1 are now the row header labels in Phase 2. And notice that the column header now has the correct title for Phase 2. And when you click the pop-up help, it's the right pop-up help. And when we zoom out, we see that there is no competitive analysis section anymore, like there is on the Phase 1 worksheet. Similarly, if we start with the Phase 2 worksheet, and we click the button with, for the four-phase QFD wizard, and we select Phase 3, it's going to create a new Phase 3 sheet with the correct headers and pop-up data validation. And this time, there is no top of roof of the house, because there is no need for a top of the roof of the house when you're in Phase 3. I think you get the idea. It'll be a similar idea when you go to Phase 4. And that is how Systems to Win can help your team with all four phases of QFD.